Hi guys, it's Michael from the Ark Project me uk i'm well aware that that looks like a big spot on my nose but it's actually i grazed it in the gym earlier <laughs> right let's get down to business um we're trying to raise a thousand pound now for a defibrillator to go on the bus because we're going to be parked up one day a week in the town center say Reading, newbury basingstoke bracknell uh probably for two or three hours there's a like a drop-in resource center as you know, people come on, have a cup of coffee, etc. So there's going to be a range of all types of people coming on, um, including the elderly. And we also, we'd like to put some stickers on the bus to let people know that we've got a defibrillator on there. And when we pull up into the town, let all the other shops and the local authorities know that we're holding a defibrillator. They're about uh, 987 quid or something like that. So we're trying to raise money at the moment to buy a defibrillator with. I know you've seen a lot of me and all I keep doing is asking for money. I uh, just really appreciate your generosity, guys. Um, soon we're going to be registered as a charity, probably within the next eight weeks. So we will be applying for grants and approaching big companies. But up until then, we have to rely on the generosity of the public. So if you get behind us on this one, guys, I promise we will pay you back. We will pay the public back and the wider community back Um over and over again because our plans are we once we're a charity also we're going to be buying a coach we're going to be offering day trips to uh to fort park for for families that can't really afford it for, you know single mums even even families of mums and dads that can't afford to take their children on holiday we're going to be offering them like a day trip to fort park to bournemouth we're going to be doing all that throughout the summer we're also going to be offering like holidays to haven butlins all kinds of things like that. I'm linking up with another charity that's got a pet and zoo, a farm, stables, just on the outskirts of Reading. So we're getting a mini bus for that, and we hope to be offering people uh, day trips to that so they can take their children there to the pet and zoo, all on us. Obviously, if we're a char charity, we're going to be paying for that. We also hope to be sponsoring um, a night shelter in Reading as well. So, guys, this is going to be big, and eventually... We want to be buying a bit of land and putting containers on there which have been converted into houses um, to, ho to house the homeless. Not only the homeless, you've got people that find themselves um, without a home, like families. And I'm not talking about just rough sleepers, I'm talking about families that need somewhere to come and stay and things like that. Um, we're also going to be offering um, like a getaway for uh, people suffering from domestic violence. So it's never ending, really. So if you get behind us, guys, I promise this is going to turn into a massive thing. It's going to be, it's Reddin's project. 